early 2019, Oxford City Council declared a climate emergency. All of our cities and all of our countries in the world need to be tackling climate change so that we can actually get to net zero carbon by 2050. There's been a fundamental revolution in the last five to ten years in terms of where our energy comes from, a massive shift to wind and solar. Now we're getting to the point where we need to find ways of harnessing that power and be able to control when it's dispatched. Energy Superhub Oxford is an innovative infrastructure project looking to decarbonise energy, transport and heat. So there's going to be a large lithium-ion battery and, and a fairly large um, what's called uh, flow battery as well. So batteries are a bit like warehouses for the power grid. Uh, they enable to, you to store energy while the sun is shining, for example, and use it in the evening when actually the demand is much higher. We are creating the world's most powerful EV network to accelerate the electrification of transport. And we will be installing over 300 domestic ground source heat pumps to replace our oil and gas-fired boilers with clean electrical equivalents. So the project is really a demonstration of lots of different technologies, but the thing that ties it all together is around uh, how you would control assets to deliver what the customer wants, but also to deliver value that is profitable and that enables the power grid to be cleaner. The key success is to have demonstrated by 2022 that we have engaged and got the entire Oxford community on board and so that we have higher adoption rates of electric vehicles and heat pumps than anywhere else in the country and we're laying down a challenge to other cities to follow. We're going to be seeing many green jobs generated, the jobs of the future. We're going to be seeing a higher quality of life as people can breathe cleaner air and they can rely on fossil fuel generation much less. And we're also frankly going to be seeing the transformation of our city that we need to be seeing across our country.